All right, y'all. Currently, it's 8:13 right now. I just woke up from a nap, probably like 30 minutes ago. So now I'm gonna go hit chest and back. So let's get to it. I uh, just warm up on uh, my shoulder mobility real quick, so we can warm up on bench now. I think I'm just gonna work with uh, 155 today, see how that feels. This last chest day, I went heavy, so I'll just take this one lighter, and then next chest day, I'll probably go heavy again. For a solid eight, real quick. Uh, might just stick with it for you know, two more sets. I don't know. Probably would do around the same, honestly. I'm just doing 8 to 10 reps on this. And then, yeah, my elbow still hurts. Just overusing it, I think. Even then, when I woke up from my nap, my leg was like hella killing me. It was like, it was a different type of like sores, like just burning. But it's better now. It was, I don't know. The nap just made it worse. I was about 12 right there. I feel like I wasn't pushing myself enough, so went for 12 on that. I think I'll just go up for this set then, just to 165, just five pounds more each side. Also bought my Travis Scott tickets. I bought like five of them for me and my friends. And you know, I got paid that off pretty soon. And then also the concert's like the day before my brother's birthday, so I'm probably gonna get him some Utopia merch. But so, you know, I gotta save my money for that a little bit. But the tickets weren't even that like, expensive. At least now they weren't. They were like 400 or something, 500 for like lower level seats. But now like lower level is like 100 or like 200 for like row one, row two, row three seats. Way better. So, you know, I was debating on going or not, but since they're only 100 for, I got like row three seats. I, I'm gonna go to this concert then. I was supposed to do test and back like yesterday actually, but I didn't go because I mean I was supposed to be here at like 8 a.m. or something, but I didn't wake up. Like I had my alarms and everything, but I was just too tired. I didn't feel um, energized to really go that day. But I had to take care of appointments that day and also go to a flea market down in Phoenix. It was cool, I didn't record anything, but they had a nice like CBD store and just a bunch of other stuff, like alcohol, ice cream. Didn't try any of that stuff, but um, it was nice. I was looking for stuff, but I didn't find anything I wanted. Just moved on right there. All right, we're gonna get to the rest of the workout and start on some back. I'm going to do a single arm low row. We got like 90 each side. Start off. Not bad for 12. I, I'd go up a little bit. I'm going to put a 25 on. Okay, I can't wait to go home though and eat more. Cause I haven't even ate that much today. I feel like I've just been like all protein or something. I'm only eating 900 calories. I already have 112 grams of protein. 
had to eat salmon, just, just salmon by itself today. Because <laughs> I was too lazy to wash the rice cooker. I think it's heavier than I remember. I haven't done this row in like a month or two. Huh? So damn. Those were 10 right there. Me doing like cable press basically. This used to be one of my favorite workouts, but I just kind of phased out because I was just bench and do a uh, dumbbell incline, but I don't really want to do dumbbell incline today. So we're just going to do this. And I realize this isn't even like a a great workout, I don't think, because there isn't a lot of stability with this. Because I'm mostly leaning a lot of my weight towards the floor. Let's move, I'm gonna go up a little bit. That was 32 and a half each side, so I'll just go up to 37 and a half each side. I think it was a pretty uh, solid productive day though, I think, you know. I had to wake up at nine for an appointment. I uh, had like three today. It was just kind of like a slowish week this week, but that's fine. The past five weeks, uh, I was kind of breaking like records and shit. So that's like, okay. But obviously I'm not gonna be too content with it. Obviously, I always want to strive for better and better. That was actually so like hard to like pull down and stuff, bro. That shit was basically pulling me back. Oh, I forgot to do a pulse right here, so I'm gonna do some of that actually. Just superset it. It's like 18 pull-ups. I don't know. Pull-ups are so hard. I, mean, I used to only be able to do like one back then. But I wonder how much they like, how much strength you really need to do a single pull-up or a single dip. But there's no way it's exactly your body weight, right? I don't know. I don't know the physics on that, but I'm gonna look it up. It says the average male literally can do 14 reps of pull-ups. Damn. What the hell? That's a lot. Well, I think it does say like, still basically equal to your body weight. Well, my class made me realize how much older I'm getting. Like, the fact that I could say that I'm in my early 20s now is insane. Like, just imagine how cool that, bro. You're in your early 20s, you're saying you're in your mid 20s, late 20s, and then once you get to 30s, man, early 30s, I don't know. 19 and 20 is so much more different. set of pull-ups that I'm done with this. I gotta figure out what I want to cook for a video. I feel like I want to try a protein pasta or something. I don't have pasta often, so maybe that. I want to try something completely different that I've never cooked before. But at the same time, I'm not a good cook. You know, just following directions. Damn, I should this is nine. So that means I'll be working like nine to nine, bro. That's what Drake said. out of here now all right that's it for today's workout you know it went pretty smooth uh, i'm tired now and you already know like comment subscribe and i'll catch y'all next time